Professor Frederick Amant uh, presented uh, uh, the update uh, of uh, his series of 70 babies uh, who were born after uh, that their mothers uh, received chemotherapy during pregnancy. And uh, the good news is that uh, those babies uh, had uh, very good uh, psychomotorial uh, development, uh, neurodevelopment, uh, and uh, they didn't have any uh, ear toxicity, autotoxicity, which was uh, of concern. Uh, they didn't have any cardiac toxicity, which again was one uh, of the concerns. Uh, the interesting uh, information, uh, though, was that uh, uh, for babies uh, who were born uh, prematurely, also those that were not born uh, uh, very prematurely, so what we call the late preterm, uh, had some impairment uh, in uh, uh, the uh, subtle impairment in the uh, psychological test and uh, neuropsychological and uh, neurobehavioral tests. So that's uh, a, uh, a message for the physicians treating uh, uh, patients uh, who are pregnant and have uh, cancer uh, to consider also uh, uh, a delivery at term and not just to take those babies out uh, too soon. Those data uh, clearly uh, state that uh, placenta works uh, as a filter, as an active filter. So uh, all uh, drugs uh, which are uh, um, somehow targets uh, of the p glycoprotein of the MRP, the, uh, the uh, ABC uh, um, uh, pumps, uh, actually, uh, have uh, a very high gradient uh, between the mother and uh, the fetus, which means that uh, uh, just a small part uh, of what uh, you get to the mother, uh, you give to the mother, get to the fetus. And that's very important because uh, uh, for some drugs, uh, there is the passage is really very limited. Less than 5% of the drug gets to the fetus. And this is very good news also in terms of counseling because uh, if the mother knows that uh, what she receives uh, just uh, does not, uh, uh, is not a transfer to her uh, uh, fetus, well, or, you know, her baby, that's very important. <laughs> 